Hey guys, uh, here we are going to do pro question number 2, Gauss law, remember chapter 23, Gauss law. Uh, question, not the problem. Remember, at the end of every chapter, there are two sections for problems. One is under the title of questions, the other is in, under the title of problems. We are going to do pro question number 2 here, okay, question number 2. Okay, we also have a diagram here. Figure shows uh, in cross section three solid cylinders, each of length L and uniform charge Q. Uh, concentric with each cylinder is a cylindrical Gaussian surface with all three uh, surfaces having the same radius. Rank the Gaussian surfaces uh, according to the electric field at any point on the surface greatest first. So we have to rank the three situations according to electric field on the Gaussian surface. So we have a cylinder here. This is a cylinder, a solid cylinder, another solid cylinder here. You can see of greater radius, another solid cylinder here. Again, you can see of greater radius, uh, but all of them are having the same charge. Okay, all of them are having the same charge. Yeah, same charge Q. This one has charge Q, this one has charge Q, and this one has charge Q. Now, this is a Gaussian surface drawn around it, cylindrical Gaussian surface, again a cylindrical Gaussian surface, again a cylindrical Gaussian surface, all of them having the same radius, okay? All of them having the same, all of them co-centric with the cylinder, and all of them having the same radius. We have to find out, uh, we have to rank the three situations according to the magnitude of the electric field at any point on the Gaussian surface. Well, by symmetry, we can say electric field at every point on the Gaussian surface will be same in magnitude. So it doesn't matter which point you consider, okay? Now, uh, when you go through this chapter of uh, Gauss law, you must have uh, gone through this exercise, uh, electric field due to an infinite line charge, due to an infinite line charge. If line charge density is lambda, then electric field, now you must know this is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Lambda being the charge per unit length. Okay, charge per unit length. Now all these cylinders are having the same charge Q. All of them are having the same length L. So charge is same, length is same. Remember lambda is charge per unit length. Charge is same for all the three. L is same, length is same for all the three. So lambda is same for all the three. Okay, so lambda for this cylinder, lambda for this cylinder, lambda for this cylinder is same. If lambda is same, then for this situation, electric field is inversely proportional to R. So greater the distance from the uh, line charge, greater will be the uh, electric field, uh, lesser will be the electric field. Smaller the distance, greater will be the electric field. Now we have a cylinder, not, an, uh, not a line charge. That again comes from Gauss law. You must have done that during this chapter. If we have a solid cylinder with some charge Q, then for points outside the solid cylinder, outside, okay, for outside, it just behaves the same way. It just behaves as if it's a line charge along its axis here. So we will have the same result. Or uh, you can see all the Gaussian surfaces, all the Gaussian surfaces, this point is lying outside it, this point is lying outside it, this point is lying outside the cylinder. So for all of them, same principle will be valid. All of them will behave like line charges along their axis. So all of them are having the same radius. So for all the three cases, lambda is same. For all the three Gaussian surfaces, R is same. That means for all the three cases, electric field is going to be same. Okay, electric field is going to be same. So all tie, all tie, fine. 